What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Solo Toys, and today I have a review of the DC Collectibles, DC Bombshells, Batwoman. Alright, it's been a little while since I did a DC Collectibles figure, and uh, for me this is a really good one to do. L really love Batwoman, I uh, wanted to check out this line the dc bombshells line was never into the statues so much this is all you know this is based on designs by aunt lucia um but because i like batwoman and i think the aesthetic really fits um for you know like that whole female baseball player type deal i think this is like a really cool one to check out so here we go let's check start out with the extras she comes with she has some uh, hands, extra hands. She has fist hands on right now. So as you can see, there's a couple of like, like open hands here and a couple of uh, holding hands, um, which is pretty cool. They're all like gloved red, very nice, shiny. Then she comes with a, a baseball bat that says Batwoman on there. Looks really nice, actually. Really good painting on there to make it feel like a bat. The handle is really sculpted well. Really well done. So and let's grab one of those hands. See how easy or not fits in there. Pretty good pretty good and then she comes with which is this is really cool um, a baseball and a glove which is sculpted and painted very 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 nicely and the ball does come out and you can see it's moving in there I don't want to really completely take it out because I don't want to lose it and it fits in there so well <laughs> but it's pretty awesome and to do it. Oop. There. Everything is flying here. Oh, and I got some oh, little paint chipping. Probably from the inside of the uh, uh, the hand. Sometimes that happens with these types of pegs. So yeah, oh yeah. That's exactly what happened. So you can see. Paint chipping off. But there you go, that's what it looks like in hand. Pretty awesome. And let's see this one. Let's see, <laughs> more, more paint coming out. That glossy red really like, oof, comes right out. But it's on the peg, so. That's pretty awesome. I'm probably gonna display her like so. Um, I think that looks really good. And the figure does look really nice. Again, it's that classic. Uh, female baseball player aesthetic and I think that looks really good obviously it makes sense for Batwoman uh, hat looks really good uh, I like the ears that the red bat on there is nice it's sculpted well the hair is sculpted really well nice wash on the hair that's done well and then her her face looks really good lips are a nice dark crimson red Eyes really pop with that green. There is like a like a black shading around her eyes. Kind of signifies like a little mask. It's kind of odd, um, but it doesn't hurt. It's an interesting choice, but yeah, it's not bad. And then going down her to her body, I love how the the suit looks. I love the black uh, and red aesthetic. You know, for Batwoman is really nice. You know, the bat symbol looks really good there, going down, around, you know. It's an, the reds they use is a nice shiny red on the belt here and the, on the bat symbol and the gloves. It really, really makes it pop against the very matte um, black that they use. So kudos uh, for the color choices here. It's really good. The skirt is a, a soft plastic, so that, that's really good for her legs and stuff, you know. And it's sculpted really well. I like the way they made, uh, you know, the faux fabric uh, flow. 
and on the back you see uh, Gotham Knights 50 number 52 you know to go along with the new 52 I'm guessing <laughs> or you know the 52 different earths you know, it's the Gotham Knights it's all tampo printed and it's done very well so pretty good no real shading on the legs or the arms or anything um, but what are you gonna do the uh, our shoes are really shiny black and they look pretty good and then this is like the opposite of what we get up here and you get a matte red for her socks but you do have the black stripes on there so that looks really nice it's overall it's a really nice looking figure you know, I think they did a really good job here. Like, look-wise, I mean, I can't complain at all. I mean, if you're not into the aesthetic, then it's not for you. But um, as far as I, f I feel like, you know, when I looked at all these uh, bombshell figures, this was the one that really stood out to me. And not just because I like the character a lot, um, but I just think it looked the best. It turned out really well. Um, okay, so let's do articulation. Heads on a ball joint. You got some really good range of movement despite all that hair there. So that's pretty good. And, and uh, then she's got an ab joint, which moves very well. Does she have a waist joint? No, it doesn't. It's definitely glued in there. So you just get the ab joint. But, you know, that's enough, I think. And you got hinge swivel combo at the shoulders you got bicep rotation which is smartly done right at the cut of her shirt which is pretty perfect there is a, sh a stray red there that's a little bit of bummer but it's not that bad a little, a little bit over there too got a double jointed elbow which is amazing and then the hinge swivel here for the wrist so I I think the hinge is kind of, it's kind of painted on, unfortunately. Yeah, the paint got into the the hinges as you can see. And that might be what's like chipping a lot, honestly. That's a bit of a bummer. For her legs, you got a ball joint at the hips. So she can go out pretty far actually. Kicks pretty good. Again, the uh, skirt is uh, soft plastic, so that's good. And you can rotate it a bit up there, but there's also rotation, obviously, here at the uh, thigh. Got a double jointed knee. And uh, then you got a hinge and a swivel at the ankle. So no real rocker there, just hinge and swivel. But double joints at the knees and at the um, Elbows is really good. I feel like this is one of, one of the better articulated DC collectible figures um, that's not uh, a DC Icons figure. So that's pretty good. Yeah, this is a nice figure, guys. This is a really nice figure. I don't think I'd be in. I don't think. I gotta, I gotta remember. Maybe, maybe the Harley was pretty cool, actually. But I don't think I'd be in on this line for further than those these two but it is nice and uh you know comes with a fair amount of stuff and the articulation is there so let's give a look at uh some size comparisons she's a tall figure there she is with uh sh figure arts kane and the undertaker so you can see how much bigger she is there here is a. Uh, Super Saiyan Trunks from uh, Dragon Stars. Ah, he doesn't want to stand. Fine. Um, Duke Thomas from DC Multiverse. He doesn't want to stand either. Nobody wants to stand. How about Baloo? Do you want to stand? Hey, Baloo wants to stand. Of course he does. Sentinel Mega Man. <laughs> Lots of random figures here. That's that's. How my desk usually is. Lots of random figures. And Spider-Gwen. 
So there you go. That's my review on uh, the DC Collectibles DC Bombshells by Aunt Lucia Batwoman figure. A really cool figure. If you haven't checked out this line and want to, this is a good one to, to do because it just, she comes with a lot of stuff and she looks good. Articulation's there. Can't, uh, can't say enough. I think it's on uh, Amazon for like 17 something right now. Definitely worth that price. All right, guys, that's all I got. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.